आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वेरी वेरी स्पेशल वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज अ प्रोजेक्ट माई एडोरेबल स्टूडेंट्स हैज मेड दिस वीडियो वेरी स्पेशल आई बिलीव प्रोजेक्ट आर गुड वे टू मोटिवेट स्टूडेंट्स टू क्रिएट अ मीनिंगफुल लर्निंग इन चैलेंजिंग सर्कमस्टेंसेस आई फील स्टडी ऑफ एनी सब्जेक्ट कैन बी अ फन If we take it as a game, if I take mathematics, it is actually up to about how fast and quick our mind is to recognize a puzzle, which we which we call a problem. So my students are here to show you how mathematics and gaming, mathematics and art. go hand to hand good morning all i am anvi welcome you all in this interesting and wonderful video hope you all are well and safe during this pandemic we are not going to school and we are at home so by this the learning would not stop you all know that creativity is growing experimenting breaking rules making new things and having fun it works like a miracle when combined with maths so we are here with a small project including arts puzzles and logical thinking mathematics is a fundamental part of human thoughts and logic mathematics is present everywhere it runs our computer flies our aircraft and protects our information mathematics stimulates curiosity fosters creativity and equips us with the skills that we need in life beyond school mathematics is a cradle of all the creations without which the world cannot move an inch be it a cook a farmer a carpenter a shopkeeper a magician an engineer or a doctor even a labor everybody needs mathematics in their day to day life friends mathematics learning can be made easier and enjoyable if it includes activities games puzzles and art in today's small conversation we the students of class 8 are presenting the different aspects of famous pythagoras theorem sasto ya hai ki aaj hum 6 mahine ke baad school dress pehn ke bahut khush ho rahe hain aur ummeed karte hain ki jal se jal paisthiti samanya ho jaye corona bhag jaye aur hum school jaye khele koode aur padhai kare Now we discuss about Pythagoras theorem. It proves different patterns using writing a triangle and a puzzle. The brain game of mathematics. So I call upon Mansi. The well-known Pythagoras theorem says that in a right-angled triangle, the sum of the squares of the legs of a right-angled triangle is equal to its hypotenuse. That is the opposite side to the right angle. According to this figure. A square plus B square is equal to C square. Here A and B are the legs, and C is the hypotenuse of this right-angled triangle. Pythagoras theorem is a very useful theorem. We can see its uses in our daily life. For example, it is used for construction and navigation survey. We can see slope grouped in some building. or the sliding plane in automobile showrooms to enter the vehicle in the showrooms and so many now tanushri is waiting to tell you the different methods to get the proof of a square plus b square is equal to c square welcome tanushri hello friends truly speaking it's my pleasure to be a part of this project because i got a chance to put on my school dress really feeling very happy so friends Here I am to discuss with you some interesting methods that used to prove Pythagorean theorem. So let's see. The first one is 
Make a right angle triangle with the side 6 cm, 8 cm and 10 cm. Like this. Friends, make squares on each side. I will use concept of area of square. That is side into side. So the area of square of side 6 cm, 6 into 6, 36. Area of square of 8 cm, 8 into 8, 64. Area of side 10 cm, 10 into 10, 100. Friends, what we see are amazing. 36 plus 64, 100. So, it is proved. And if I make square cheeks of 1 cm by 1 cm like this, let me count total. 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, it is 36. Let me count this also. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, it is 64. Let me count this also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So, it is 100. It is 100. So, it is proved. And if I make circles on the sides like this, when we calculate the area of this figure and this figure, we get the result equals to the area of this figure. So, pi r 1 square plus pi r 2 square equals to the pi r 3 square. Pi 3 square plus pi 4 square equals to pi 5 square. 9 pi plus 16 pi equals to the 25 pi. So, 25 pi equals to the 25 pi. Again, in this also Pythagorean theorem is proved. I can make equilateral triangle like this. Similarly, I can make hexagon, hexagon on the sides to get the result. Really friends, all methods are very interesting. So I have made these beautiful patterns using right angle triangle. Making these beautiful stars, I have used four right angle triangle. This is one, this is two, this is 3 and this is 4. For this beautiful pattern, I have used right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle. This is also a right angle triangle. This is also a 90 degree angle. For making this hexagon, I have used right angle triangle. You can see them clearly. Nice! Great pattern! I have used four right angle triangle to make a square. We can find the area of whole pattern. Now, beautiful fish. I have used right angle triangle in this way to make the fish. You have shown very many beautiful patterns. I have also made some patterns using only right angle triangle. Like this. I have used only isosceles right angle triangle. Let us see the another beautiful patterns we see in our home in the form of tiles, in back sheets, etc. We can find the area of this one using Pythagoras theorem. Oh, how nice pattern you have made by using right angle to triangle. Really, maps can be made colorful. Arvi and Disha has integrated art in maths to make it interesting. We have still so many new things. Let us see what Madhvi has done. So I am here to tell you how to generate Pythagorean triplets from odd numbers. So you all know that there are many odd numbers and there are many triplets. So let me give you a few examples. Examples are 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, 9, 41, 42 and so on. As I have told you that there are many odd numbers and there are many triplets. So it becomes very very difficult to learn these all. आपको 
राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल की एक साइड पता है चाहे वो नंबर कितना भी बड़ा हो या कितना भी छोटा हो और वो और नंबर हो तो हम उससे कैसे अदर टू साइड फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं सो आफ्टर दिस कैलकुलेशन विल बिकम वेरी वेरी इजी सो लुक वेरी केयरफुली एंड डोंट मिस एनीथिंग सो लेट्स सी जनरेटिंग पाइथागोरस ट्रिप्लेट्स फॉर ऑड नंबर्स सो व्हाट आर ऑड नंबर्स लेट्स रिकॉल दिस All numbers are the numbers which cannot be divided equally, or we can say that all numbers are the number which cannot be divided by two. Now we will generate our own pythagorean triplet from all numbers with the formula of x square minus one upon two and x square plus one upon two. Where x will be any of the odd numbers. So let's see and look very carefully. If x is equal to three, then what are the other two sides? So the first to find out the first side, we will take the formula x square minus one upon two. So what is x? X is three. So square of three, nine. Minus one a upon two. So what is the answer of this? Four. Now second x is square plus one upon two. In this the operation is minus and in this the operation is plus. Okay, math B. Very good. Very nice method you told. For one thing that is most important and interesting to know that the Pythagoras triplet are always consecutive in numbers. How interesting. See like. 84 85 60 61 and so on but what about the even numbers that i am going to tell you the pythagoras triplet can never be made up of all odd number or an even number this is true because the sum of two even number is always even and the sum of one odd number and an even number is always odd the square of Even number is always even, and the square of odd number is always odd. The formula of Pythagoras triplet is two m m square minus one m square plus one. Let us see the example. So our next example is eighty two m m square minus one m square plus one. Let two m is equals to eighty m is equals to nine. Two multiply by nine. Nine square minus one. Nine square plus one. So the Pythagoras triplet is eighty, eighty, eighty-two. Like eighty, you have to use same formula and same method. Hello, friend. So many things of Pythagoras theorem we have seen. Proof was there, formula was there, many beautiful patterns we saw. But maths without brain exercise we can't imagine. So here I am with my puzzle. Let's see my puzzle. Where by using a square plus b square equals to c square, I will find the shortest path to reach at the top by using Pythagoras theorem, by which we can save the time. So come with me. So this is the puzzle. Where a equals to five meter, I will find the shortest route to reach at the top by using Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem formula is hypotenuse square equals to base square plus height square. So we will start. We are six meter. We will take this as base and eight meter. This as height, and we will draw an imaginary line as hypotenuse. And if we will calculate this by Pythagoras theorem, we will know that this would come ten meters. After that, we will take three meter as base and four meter as height. The hypotenuse will come five meter, and we can save our two meter from there. This is base and this is height. The hypotenuse will come twenty five meter, and we can save our six meter. And like here also, we will take this as base and this as height, and this as hypotenuse. It would come ten meters, and we can save our four meter. So the total distance of the figure is. Hundred meters, but after calculating 
the shortest route by using pythagoras theorem we know that the whole distance of this figure is 84 meters very good children thanks a lot for a nice project creativity and knowledge priya vibhav pannu main aap sabhi ke atyant aabhari hu aapke sahyog ke bina yah बिल्कुल भी संभव नहीं था मैंने तो सिर्फ आप बच्चों को गाइड किया था लेकिन जो आपने उनको सहयोग दिया उनका साथ दिया उनके लिए वीडियो बनाया अपना टाइम उनको दिया उसके लिए मैं आपके अत्यंत आभारी हूँ